Hey guys, what's up? This is Rob with One Star Reviews. Happy Saturday. It's raining here in Atlanta. I'm here today to review a product. Uh, I've never seen it before. I'm going to try it out. This is the Duck Weather Strip Seal. It's basically like a tape. So what I'm going to use this for is I'm not weather sealing anything. Those of you that have car stereos that are high powered, that maybe have a subwoofer in the trunk, you're going to get a lot of trunk rattle. I still have one. I'll show you my setup in a minute. My license plate is really, it, it bangs a lot. It, there's only two screws in it on the top. I'll show you that in a sec. Actually, let's go. So as you can see, my license plate only has the two screws right here. So this thing kind of bounces around a lot, especially when you've got songs that have got a lot of bass in it. So this thing rattles a ton. So I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of people applying the weather stripping on the back of it, it seems to work really good. Anyway, so we're gonna try it out today, see if it lowers the decibels any, and uh, see if this is a good product. All right, let me show you my system real quick. I basically got a 12 inch kicker. Uh, this is a ported box. This is actually my first ported box in my life. I've been messing with car stereo since I was, you know, 14, 15 years old, that's a long time ago. And it's being powered by you can see that, uh, hard to see, MTX amp. It's actually from, from the 90s, still going strong. Gives me about um, 180, 200 watts probably. It rattles the trunk a lot. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna baseline how loud this is right now. I'm gonna put on some music and I got my sound pressure level meter out. We're gonna see how loud it is and then we're gonna apply the weather stripping and then we'll see if it reduces the sound level at all. Okay, so I got this thing up to um, acceptable volume. You can hear the license plate is, is vibrating pretty good. Now, since I got most of my music on my Spotify and I'm videoing with my phone, I can't use all the, the bass songs that I usually play in the car. So this is going to be a little Aerosmith ragdoll, just to give you an idea. Now, I got my sound pressure level meter here, handy, very handy. And so we're just going to test the SPLs coming from this thing. So it's going to be probably, I've got it set to, all right, let me get closer. Okay, so it looks like we're good here. Yep, definitely on the 90 range. All right. So it looks like peak wise, we're right at 90. You know how to read these things. Looks like it's peaking at 90. It's, you know, a little bit's at 89-ish, but it looks like CS peaking at the zero, which means it's right at the the, uh, the 90 mark there. Let me make sure here. So we're pretty ru we're roughly right there at the peaks. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna turn this off, and we're gonna apply the uh, the weather shift. All right, guys, so just some things about the weather stripping stuff. I'm inside the garage right now because it's kind of kind of sprinkling out there. All right, so it's a self-adhesive rubber, uh, 3 8 inch wide, quarter inch thick, and this comes in 17, 17 uh, feet. Yeah, this is 17 feet. Cost me about three bucks, so it's really in inexpensive. It's an inexpensive way to, uh, to deaden some sound. All right, so it's kind of soft, plush material. Let me crack it open. So here you go right here. It's kind of soft, foamy feeling. And hopefully it's got some adhesive right here. Yeah, there it is right there. This is adhesive. You peel that off, peel it off and go. All right, so I need a knife. So I'm gonna get me a knife and I'll be right back. All right, so I've cut a little piece off right here. I'll just show you how I'm putting it on. Again, I'm doing this, I'm doing this live, so I may mess up. All right, so I just cut a little piece right here and I'm just gonna attach it. I'm gonna basically go around the, the border of the license plate from the all the way around, so all four sides. So basically I'm gonna take this, let's see here, strip off, strip off, all right, and I'll start over here. Let's see if that'll work, oh, a little bit too far off. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so you can see I just put it on like this, it's nice and sticky. 
so that's not going to come off. Now, I was thinking about using some kind of sponge or something like that, but that can get you know a little a little moldy. So this stuff is designed to be outdoors and water you know uh, withstand water and weather and everything else. So I'm going to put the rest of it on. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so we're back. I finished weather stripping the whole back of this thing. You can see from the top right here, you can see how much thicker this is. So hopefully just with the two screws, and you know what, I got a punch, look what I did. The screws are going in here and I've already covered it, so I'm probably just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, punch through that. But you can see how much thicker this plate is now. And hopefully um, as the base kicks in, it's gonna hit this weather stripping and it's just gonna deaden that sound. So let's go ahead and put this license plate back on and, uh, and let's get ready to rumble. Got it in, um, the two screws. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of beast mode. Get those uh, screws to punch right through that weather stripping, but not a big deal. Just a couple seconds of, of, uh, of effort, but it's ready to go. Um, let's put our music back on and get our SPL gauge and we'll go from here. Okay, so I got the music back on. Hopefully uh, I don't get the copyright thing. Hopefully you can't hear all that. All right, got my SPL meter here. I still hear a lot of vibrations, so um, I'm not sure I put enough weather sealing. I may need to put some more um, around it just to keep the rest of it from rattling. I wonder if, uh, yeah, I might have to put some weather, more weather stripping in the middle here. But let's check it out. Let's go back to 90 and see if we get the same meter. All right, that's promising. So let's see if the peaks end up going up to 90. Before they were at, you know, 88. Wow, okay, so we're down there. Let me go back down to 80 and see where we're at. So we're about, you know, 85, 84. So this definitely worked. And me talking is gonna raise that too, but. Yeah, right around the peak there. Looks like that's hitting 86 now. Okay, so it looks like we're right about 86. Kind of rough around that four mark right there, um, which means 86 on this machine. So definitely a pr an improvement. So it could be look at it up to four decibels. So that's huge. Um, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna put some more stripping, weather stripping on there and see if I can get it down even more. Okay, here we go again. I added an extra bit of padding um, on the back of the uh, plate, more so at the bottom side because it's not secure down there. Um, so let's see if that does anything. So just, uh, just put another layer of that in there. Let's go back to 90. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's helped at all. We're still at that four negative four area, so we're still at right around 86 decibels, so that extra bit didn't help as much. What I'm thinking though, what I'm thinking is I could probably put some more insulation right here where the nuts, um, where the bolt is attached to the license plate, because there's still a little bit of vibration there. You can see if I push down on these, way less noise. Actually, let me try to hit it right now and see what, if I had this down, yeah, that's where most of the noise is coming from. So if I, I got a little pressure right here, meaning I put a little bit of like a grommet or something right there, uh, it may go down another two decibels. So that's the deal with that. But overall, this stuff looks like it works. If you've got a plate that's uh, vibrating, rattling everywhere as you're driving down the road, um, get some of this weather stripping. It's definitely worth it. It's only a couple bucks and I got a ton left over so I could use it for any other applications around the house or other parts of the vehicle. And again, it just takes a couple seconds and then four decibels of suppression outside means a little bit more decibels on the inside. So uh, enjoy, happy bumping, happy rocking your sub. Add this as an improvement to your uh, sound quality on the inside and the outside. Um, I totally recommend it. Um, thank you for watching my video. This is Rob One Star Reviews. Check me out. Um, please like, subscribe, and um, share with your family and friends. Share with everybody, actually. Click that bell icon if you want to um, check out more recommended tech, food reviews, or food or uh, food reviews or movies. God bless you. Do me a favor. Love your neighbor, and we'll see you next time.